What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard Insta of the Seas. I am Sky. And I'm Gav. And we are cousins. Today, we are going to dive into Icon of the Seas deck by deck. Before we start off, don't forget to like and subscribe below. Also, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and check out our podcast, Navigating the Seas, if you have yet to do that. Let's get started. Starting with deck number one. We have no idea actually what is on deck number one. Real Caribbean keeps it a secret. There's probably a jail, probably a number of other things. My big guess is that it's just a crew deck, so there's no need to post anything about it. But I post your whatever you think it is down below in the comments here. What do you think it is, Gab? I I think you you your guess is better than mine. Uh <laughs> I'll tell you what I wish it was. I wish it was like an all window deck or a glass bottom boat deck. That'd be cool. That would be really sweet. Obviously not possible, but would be really cool. Let's dive into deck number two. Yeah, deck number two, port gangway. Uh, basic, just get it on the ship and being able to go up. Uh, what do you think the additional space is? Any uh, crew rooms or? Yeah, I think I think along the middle here, um, they may have something called I-5 is what they call it, uh, which is like a big place where they can storage area. They can... I drive forklifts and whatnot to get food and whatnot on and off of the ship. Uh, then, yeah, the gangway just to get on and off the ship um, for people like us. One thing that I'm noticing that I really like about Icon of the Seas is the shape of the elevator shaft. Um, it's kind of rounded, which is kind of cool. Different compared to the uh, Oasis class ships. Yeah, good insight. That's really cool. Let's look at deck number three. Deck number three is where we're going to see our first dining room, um, the main dining room right here. Similar location to the Oasis class ship dining room and really all other Royal Caribbean class ship dining rooms. Uh, you'll have your conference center. Uh, say you're going on for a seminar at sea or want to rent out something, a place where you can present. Um, that's where you'll be able to do that. A number of rooms. And you also have the music hall. Music Hall, again, is on Oasis class ships towards the aft. Uh, so this is a fun location of the Music Hall and a little entertainment area. Finally, you have the Medical Center near the north of the ship, or shall I say the front of the ship, um, where you're going to go to get a Band-Aid if you get a boo-boo. You want to avoid the Medical Center. It's not very fun. Obviously, Rooker wants to try to avoid being sued. So if you hurt yourself while you're cruising... Most of the time, you'll be able to get some treatment, whether it be stitches, whether it be any sort of bandages that you need. You'll get all of that at no cost to them because they don't want you to sue them. Obviously, be smart, um, but know where it is. The only time I'm really gone there is when I slice my toe doing the flow rider. <laughs> needed some, <laughs> needed some band-aids. Um, other than that, try to avoid this place unless you really need it. Yeah, definitely a good insight to know deck three, medical center. Deck number four looks uh, pretty sweet. You've got your Royal Theater. Obviously, the unique elevator is still going up the ship, uh, and uh, your music hall is continued. Uh, casino, one of my favorite places here. Also, continuation of the dining room. Well, you've got some different staterooms that are starting to appear. I like this, and I, I really like, and I didn't mention this on deck number two, but I like these escalators in the middle of the ship, and this is something new that Icon of the Seas will have. I'm excited to see really how aesthetically pleasing these escalators are because I don't think escalators are very pretty. So it'll be cool to see how they make that nice and how they uh, how well that keeps the traffic flowing from deck to deck. Also, I hope that the smell from the casino doesn't waft up from deck uh, four to five. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of deck number five, it's a busy deck. It has our fitness center, which... Royal Caribbean has top-notch fitness centers at sea. It has the upper deck of the Royal Theater, where you're going to watch some of the shows we've talked about in our other videos. It has a few elevators as well. Then you've got retail, retail. You have a beautiful space for Sorrentos there. You've got some stairs that go up to deck six. Kind of cool. You have Spotlight Karaoke, which is on the starboard side, which is new. Um, Another retail, really, I mean, you got a lot of retail spaces, right? You have those escalators again. You have a new little bar called the Lobby Bar, the Pearl, 
We have talked about the pearl before. We're excited about the pearl. Their embarkation area. You're not going to embark right by Sorrento's. So that's smart by Royal. The point and feather, which is going to be a fun little uh, guitar bar, uh, pub, pub type bar. Your Crown and Anchor Society combined with your next cruise of, and um, internet desk and guest services. So a busy little promenade there. Some more retails. Really, they're going to find a lot of ways to get you to spend money on board. And then it looks like the top floor of your dining room. Now, on the very back, or shall I say aft, of the fifth deck, you will have absolute zero, which is the ice skating rink. So in case you don't know, the ice skating rink on Oasis class ships, and as well as Voyager class and Freedom class, it starts on deck three, right? It's more on the middle of the ship, so decks three and four. Um, right here, you have it on the aft of the ship, I really am excited for the ice skating rink on the after the ship. What do you think about deck five, Gav? Yeah, I, I would agree with you. Absolute zero is going to be such a, a cool addition to Icon. Icon's already amazing, but going through the, the Royal Promenade as you did, uh, you know, it looks great. It looks, I think great is a minimal word for it. But um, another thing that I'm looking forward to is, yeah, still having the running track around. Um, since it's a bigger ship, it's probably going to be even longer. So that that is something I'm looking forward to. And then, yeah, make sure to check out our previous video uh, where we talked about the Pearl and also the ice skating rink. So uh, let's talk about deck number six. Deck number six looks like an awesome deck. Uh, it's going to be basically the deck, the second deck of the Royal Promenade. So you'll be able to look over everything that's going on Every passenger is passing through, you know, eating their pizza or whatnot. But uh, starting it in this floor, you have a continuation, you know, of the fitness center. Uh, there's the escape room and the diamond club that's going to be located on the, the forward part of the ship. You have more entertainment, more bars. So there's the attic as well as the dueling pianos. Check out that last video we, we talked about because Sky goes into depth on that. Super sweet. Uh, the Pearl Cafe is going to be located here, as well as Giovanni's Italian Kitchen uh, and Wine Bar. And it overlooks the Promenade. Not There's no better location. That's super cool. Uh, Boleros is there, uh, the Schooner Bar as well. There is some retail and the Adventure Ocean. Going to be a great uh, central location, I think, uh, to be able to yeah have your kids play. And uh, the thing I'm most excited for is there is going to be Playmakers, Sports Bar, and Arcade. So that is also central on the ship. Going to be a great location. What do you think, Sky? Yeah, I think Deck 6 is going to really be, um, really just revolutionize the whole ship. Like Deck 6 is going to be what, one of the biggest things that is different about Icon of the Seas. Really, just it's going to be that second floor of the promenade. I'm excited for everything, like you said. I'm really excited for Playmakers and the location of Playmakers. Overall, I'm stoked to check out Deck 6 next February. Deck 7 is a jaw dropper. It's got rooms. You got a pink room here. You got a yellow room here. <laughs> a green room here. So <laughs> some more elevators. Um, pretty cool. You also have the top of the pearl, which is interesting. Um, fascinating to me. I'm curious how high the pearl is going to go. Really, all the action on deck seven is happening towards the after the ship, that back little quarter of the ship on Surfside, which again, in previous videos we've talked about, is really just a family friendly area with an arcade, Surfside Eatery, Surfside Eatery which is going to be your. Uh, Family friendly buffet, right? Surfside Bites just south of that. Let's take a quick bites. Check out our food video on Icon of the Seas. You're going to have a playscape, the sweet looking carousel, Pure Seven, which is the specialty dining on Surfside, the Lemon Post, which is a place for adult drinks as well as kid drinks that are specialty. Uh, you also have Splash Away Bay, right? Which is the kids' area to play. You have Baby Bay, which is where if your kids still wear a diaper, they can go in there and crawl around. You don't have the water's edge pool hanging off the aft of the ship, which will be sweet. 
really, if you're anybody and anybody, you can be there. You can throw your five-year-old in Splash Bay, Bay your six-month-old in Baby Bay, and you, your 35-year-old, can hang out in Water's Edge Pool or however old you are. Next seven is going to be sweet, too. Everything here just looks really fun. My little family and I are looking extra forward to this. It's going to be super sweet, you know? A lot of family-friendly opportunities and uh, moments that are going to be shared in this area. So I, I really like it. Looking at deck number eight, again, you've got a bunch of staterooms. As well, there is the Empire Supper Club. That's going to be located towards the forward part of the ship. Knowing deck eights in the past on other cruise ships, they have been amazing. I'm looking looking forward to this one. Central Park here on Icon is going to have everything that any royal cruiser has dreamed of. You know, they are making some huge and fantastic changes. Uh, Izumi in the park, that's going to be there as well. Uh, Izumi, Ibachi, and Sushi, that's going to be located there as well. You got Chops Grill. You got several different bars. Park Cafe. Love yourself a roast beef sandwich. As well as more retail shops and Louis Jazz and Blues. So if you're feeling a little bit of jazz and nice drink. The next thing when you look towards the, the aft part of the ship is going to be an ending of a dry slide. You know, we don't know too much about this, but I can only imagine that there's going to be the ultimate abyss that ends here on this on this level, which, yeah, that's my speculation, but how amazing. What do you think, Sky? I think this will be a fun, fun to the lamp shows de deck. Um, I agree. I, I think you're right. I think this hints at the ending of an ultimate abyss, um, potentially from deck 15 or 16, to deck eight. I really don't think it's the start of one from eight going to like five. I think that would be lame. So I think it's from a upper deck down to eight. I think this is a good way for Royal Caribbean to create traffic in Central Park too. I'm glad it's not ending on deck seven, which is where the, um, what's that place called? I'm glad it's not ending on deck seven which is where Surfside is. I'm glad it's ending on deck eight. Uh, excited for more information on this. Let's hop up to deck nine. Deck nine may be our first deck with just straight up rooms. And it looks like it is room after room after room. You see this purple room right here at the bottom? This is going to be the ultimate family townhouse. So far for the next couple of years, it's been booked out um, about 80 grand a week is what Royal Caribbean's getting for that room right there which is wild and you guessed it the next deck is going to be more state rooms so that's where we'll be staying so okay. very, very basic yeah it's important that there's places for people to stay on a ship like this i guess <laughs> um really the same with deck 11 something i guess that's kind of fun to look at here is you see these five plus state rooms down towards the middle. So there's larger staterooms, uh, ocean view balcony staterooms, where um, you can fit more than five people. So kind of cool. And it's not a suite per se. Your deck number 12 is going to be, guess what? We need to stay somewhere. So more staterooms, except you will have your vi vitality spa. So I I've used that in the past and it's an awesome place. So make sure to check that one out. Oh, yeah, the spa uh, is wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, my big opinion on Royal Caribbean spas is it's overpriced. Most of the time, if you're getting off the ship somewhere, you can find someone else to do it much cheaper. Uh, but who doesn't like using the spa at sea? It's, it's a very nice to have type of thing. Deck 13, you'll notice, is missing. Um, I'm not sure what happened to it. It must have fallen off or something. Just kidding. No ships really have deck 13 because of that unlucky number. So we'll skip straight to 14. 14 also has uh, the spa. I actually think this is where you're mostly, mostly going to walk into the spa. You have the Vitality Cafe where you can get some freshly squeezed drinks. You have the spa. You have the dry floor, which to dry floor is like a hair place for anyone who wants a fancy hairdo. 
uh, you also have the overlook, which will be on the front of the aqua dome area, right? There's, again, we've talked about this in the past. It kind of looks like Avatar, the movie. Really cool area. That's the major things on deck 14. What I'm liking about this is how there's, there's, I feel like we've only had three or four decks, Gav, where there's only been straight rooms. Like there's something on almost every deck. Yeah. Like that's pretty crazy. So I'm excited. Pretty, pretty nuts. And I, I like that, you know, you've got your certain, as far as like the rooms goes, you got your central park view balconies, which I think, think are pretty sweet. Uh, looking at uh, deck number 15. Deck 15 is super awesome, right? You've got your aqua theater right in the front. That is a change uh, and the, for Icon in comparison with all the other ships is now your aqua theater is on the forward part of the ship. You've got Overlook Pods, Ryan Bean. Again, check out our other video where we talk about this in more detail. Uh, hooked Seafood is located there. You also have your celebration table and as well your aquadome market so a lot going on there as far as that is which is going to be super awesome you've got table tennis the lime and coconut sprinkles this location right in the middle of this ship uh middle of this deck is going to be super sweet that chill island vibe so make sure to, to check that out as well you've got your couve pool couve <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, make sure to check out the, the Cove pool as well. There's Whirlpools, Royal Bay pool. As well, you've got your Royal Bay pools where there's a bunch of Whirlpools, a Cantina Fresco with a local fresh on this floor. Um, and then the main event where I spend the more majority of my time eating is the Windjammer. So <laughs> um, super excited about that. And uh, as well, another cool thing at the back of the ship is you're gonna have some more whirlpools. I I always like you know just spots where you can go hide away, and the hideaway pool is gonna be back there too. So excited about that. Yeah, this deck is another one that's to die for. I think um, one thing I'm somewhat concerned about is these four table tennis tables. <laughs> I call ping pong <laughs> these four ping pong tables, just kind of randomly placed there. Um, that would be interesting to see how many balls are lost down that little alley right there. Um, we'll see. Other than that, this looks exciting. It's, it's exciting to see a local fresh in a whole new location right by the pool. It's exciting to see another massive wind jammer to be able to feed everybody. And then, yeah, like you said, the hideaway pool is just going to look off the aft and be oh so pretty. Really cool looking deck. Hopping up to deck six. Teen, we're getting near the top. You have Coastal Kitchen. So we're getting to our sweet guest areas. You cannot eat at the Coastal Kitchen unless you are a sweet guest. If you're a sweet guest in a junior suite, you'll only be able to go to Coastal Kitchen for dinner. If you're any type of other type of suite, you can go there for any other meal. I've never been to Coastal Kitchen because I've never been a sweet guest, but I've heard it's really good. Further on, you have Swim and Tonic. So is this going to be the, I think this is the poolside bar. Oh, and would you look at that? We found the top of the dry slide. So it looks like the dry slide, which is not called the ultimate abyss here. It's just called dry slide. It's going to top, start on deck 16, and go eight decks down to Central Park in the middle of the ship. Really cool. I'm going to get a Central Park balcony, and I hope that I can hop on the slide from my balcony. I think that would be really cool. You'll also have Crown's Edge, which is, again, we've talked about this in the past, where you can really zip line and free fall off the side of the ship a little bit. You'll have the Deserted Milkshake Bar. You will have the staircase to enter all of the wonderful slides on Icon of the Seas. You'll have Base Camp, the Base Camp Bar, a place for included food. Um, is base camp right underneath a basketball court. You'll have Lost Dunes, which is going to be the mini golf court. And then you also have some other entrances to the slides and a float rider. Kind of bummed that this is not where the ping pong tables are. 
I know I'm making a big deal about the peak punk tables, but they I feel like they belong on this deck. But um, I'm excited for this deck too. It looks like a fun, fun deck. I I agree with you. I I'm gonna spend a lot of time there on this deck because of you know the thrill, the thrill hanging off the edge right there, sitting there, you know, walking the uh, ropes course at Crown's Edge over the edge. So that looks great. Going to number 17. 17 is kind of, you know, a continuation towards the top of the ship. Uh, Coastal Kitchen is still there, as well as your VIP and Grand Suites. Deck 17 will have Cloud 17, where it's going to be an adults-only area, lots of whirlpools. Uh, there will be a smoky area. And also on the back, the sports court. Sky and I will be... Best you better believe that him and I will be playing one on one on the sports court. And one on one, or we'll team up and do two v two and wreck some fools. Heck yeah, right? <laughs> Just kidding. I'm excited about the 17 as well. Then deck 18, you notice that it only spans a little bit of the ship. This again is a sweet guest deck, a new place to eat for your sweet guests. You can eat at the Grove. I'm sure it's wonderful. And it's got your sweet pool and your sweet whirlpool. Looks like a cool deck for sweet guests. Yeah, 18 looks great for the sweet guests. The number 19 is the Grove Sweet Sun deck, and that's going to be on the aft of the ship. And that looks wonderful. I agree. I probably will never try it out. But for those of you who can't try it out, go for it. You rock. Deck number 20 really is like the water slide deck. Um, where you can enter your water slides. Again, you see your, your different water slides here on the deck plan. If you want to dive in to which of these water slides is the best, check out the video right here. And we talk about each of the water slides. So there you have it. All 20 decks of Icon of the Seas. Some amazing stuff, some revolutionary stuff. I'm quite thrilled. If I could go on a year-round cruise on Icon of the Seas, I probably would, A, if I could afford it, and B, if my family could come with it, and C, if they had a church on Icon of the Sea so that I could still attend church. That's probably what I would do. I'm stoked. I'm stoked of this, too. I, I can't wait for it to be here. So make sure to check out the rest of our content and stay tuned for more videos that we will release on Icon of the Seas. And we'll see you.